What's up, YouTube? I know we picked up some subs on that last video, so I thought I'd introduce myself. I'm Benjamin. It's hard to believe it, but we've been working on this turbo furnace since summer 2018. It's almost four years of our lives consumed. So for 2022, we're going to let the turbo furnace take a little nap and work on some other projects. Vincent's got this new Haas CNC mill and he's put a fourth axis in it. I don't know what we're going to do with it, but it's probably going to be awesome. So enjoy this last video on the turbo furnace for a while. And hail motor! Okay, so, it's sustaining pressure. It's just not like, it's, there's enough brack pressure that it doesn't just want to run away like it normally does uh -huh. if you leave the throttle open. Like I got a sustained five PSI with it wide open right there. So, what it needs is less nozzle, still. Well, there we go. We wrote it. Yep, so we blew the door. And as you can see, it's kind of, this clamp's not sitting on top, and there's a nice big fat gap around the edge. And it would appear that for the pressures that we're gonna need to achieve in order to get this thing to go anywhere in this extremely high friction, high weight situation, we're gonna need a stronger door. But God knows we tried. Here's some footage that we actually shot before what you just saw and before we added the nozzle. We put the furnace on the chariot for a thrust test with a cheap scale. 
The setup was too crude to get a meaningful reading, but you can see Vincent on the left playing with the scale, and several times he pulls the chariot back by the rope and it rolls itself forward under its own thrust. So I'm going to declare that a victory. The turbo furnace moved itself under its own power. This was the first time we saw the door fail. You can see the door lifting up and huge gas leaks before one of the clamps pops. Chamber pressure was over 15 psi, or 1 bar, which is more than 50% higher than we had ran it in the past. This implies that the total force on the door was over 750 pounds, or 340 kilograms.